Hi, I'm Rachel Donegan. I am the Howe Libraries Emerging Technologies Librarian, and I am here to show you how to make something every week. This is Howe Makers. Hi, everybody. Today, we are exploring stop motion animation. So the idea with stop motion animation is you set up a scene, take a picture, move one little thing a little bit, take another picture, and move it again a little bit, and keep taking pictures, sometimes hundreds or thousands of pictures, until you have a story. If you've ever played with a flip book before, the idea is the picture's a little bit different on each page. You flip through it, and it looks like something's moving. To do our stop motion project, I'm going to use an iPhone or iPad app called Stop Motion Studio. So I'm going to start off showing you how I set up my project and how I shot it, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more about what the app can do. One word of caution, practice with the app before you spend a lot of time taking hundreds and hundreds of pictures. You want to be familiar with the app before you spend a lot of time on a big project. So here's my setup. I have my iPad here on some books, which are then on a chair. <laughs> and down here I have my scene set up on some books as well um, to get the distance just right for shooting. You can adjust it a little bit with the zoom, but only a little bit. Um, I also, it's very important too to have your camera hanging over the edge of your pile. So it takes a little bit of a balancing act to get everything lined up just right. So here we are all ready to shoot our video. I have the iPad set up here. And you can see there's a little bit of a shadow. And the app does that so that you can see where your previous picture was. It's a really nice handy little thing. So I'm going to push this red button here to take pictures and then I'm just going to come around here and move my objects a little bit at a time. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing that over and over and over again until I have a movie. Okay, so here we are with our iPad and we can make a new project or we can work on the one we've been working on. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna walk you through a couple features but there are a bunch of other features that you should just play around with. There's a lot in here. Um, one thing you can do is uh, set up a grid quick push button right there if you want to if you want help lining things up uh, this button is really fun this kind of looks like a gear has a whole bunch of filters that you can play around with um, that can make your movie look really different kind of like that one you have to click on this no filter button um, if you want to get rid of it and then hit done um, you can also this button lets you go right back to the beginning of your movie. This one lets you go to the end. So if you're going to add on to this, you'd want to quickly go to the end. Um, this lets you undo things. Um, I don't have anything to undo right now. This button here lets you zoom in. So when you're taking pictures, you can adjust your camera distance here. This button here is a timer. Oops, I have to hit done. This button is a timer, which could be really handy if you're doing um, live action. So this one will take a picture after a certain delay of a certain number of seconds. So like if you wanted to be in the picture, you could set a delay for five seconds, run into the frame, pose, wait for the picture to be taken, then come back um, and set it up again. So you would get some exercise doing a movie like that as well. I've seen some really cool ones on the internet where people do that. Um, so we can hit done here. You can also click on the image itself and or on one of your photos and you get a whole bunch of other options for things to do. So one thing you might want to do is copy and paste one frame. If you want to slow the, the um, action down a little bit, you can do that. Um, you can also delete a certain frame if, say, your hand was in there or something like that. You can delete frames that you don't want. Um, so when you're all done, you can hit this back button here and it takes you back to your project page and from here you can choose to share it um, or or um, oh sorry I have to hit select first I have to select and then select which item I want to export and then I can click this button up here um, so I can export it um, make a flip book or a project or I can just export all my images, say, into another app. So that's the basics of what we can do with uh, Stop Motion Studio.
So that's all for today. Hope you enjoy making your own stop motion movies and I'll see you next time. Thank you.